Hey Sydney, my name is Amy and I'm here with today's story from Cindy for you. And if you've been watching the other stories this week, you would know that we're reading stories that rhyme. So this one is called The Runaway Roller Skate and it is another book that has lots of rhyming words. So let's check it out. Into the country far away, Mr. Elwood went on a holiday. So roller skate was his delight, if possible, from morning till night. The thing that he loved most to do was to skate in the country, admiring the view. Then one sunny morning at ten to eight, a mouse crept into his roller skate. Giddy up, it squeaked, and off went the mouse through a hole in the door and out of the house. That's an oily little mouse, isn't it? The cat, who had no sense of smell, slept soundly, thinking all was well. But the cockerel woke. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Mr. Elwood cried. Oh, it can't be true. It's terrible. It's infuriating. It will mean the end of my roller skating. The jockey mouse rode with his bootlace reins. Mr. Elwood banged on the window panes, shouting, Catch that mouse before it's too late. He's got my irreplaceable roller skate. Off he goes. Mr. Elwood, frantic, all of a rumpus, picked up his telescope and his compass, a lasso, a mouse trap, clothes peg and chain, a map and umbrella in case of rain, a butterfly net, among other things, and paraphernalia dangling on strings. He asked a fisherman fishing for trout if he'd seen a roller skate dashing about. Shh, can't you see I'm trying to fish for something tasty to put in my dish? Have a look in the river. Maybe it's there. Take yourself off, please, and don't stare. Oh, Mr. Elwood decided to do something rash. He jumped in the river with a mighty splash. I say, Mr. Fish, has a mouse passed by? Riding a roller skate? Heaven knows why. The fish flipped his fins and gaped, bobble, bobble. Mr. Elwood thanked him for all his trouble and advised him to keep well away from the bait. Let me finish his days, or oh, lest he finish his days on a dinner plate. And down the river they travelled so fast that the ducks swept away and let them pass. Come on now, the cockerel squawked. Heave ho, I'll steer the boat. You have to row. So they go in their boat. They rowed out to sea and tossed on the ocean. The waves swelled high and there was such a commotion. The wind blew and whistled and down the rain poured. Flash struck the lightning and the thunder roared. They arrived at a desert in scorching heat and mounted a camel. Each hump made a seat. Mr. Elwood croaked or thirsty and hot. Look, there goes the mouse, or maybe not. Through his teeth, although his teeth were chattering in the ice and snow. I don't care, Mr. Elwood said, how far we go. I'll climb frozen hills on that mouse's track. I'll search till I get my roller skate back. And after many a month of constant chase, it seemed to them they'd lost the race. When just as they rested their aching feet, the skating mouse rushed down the street. Taxi, taxi, follow that skate. Quick, oh quickly, before it's too late. Mm, there he goes. Whoosh. With a terrible sound of screeching wheels, the cab pulled up at the mouse's heels. They chased him through rotating doors into a building of 20 floors. Mr. Elwood asked the girl in the hall if he might make a telephone call. Without looking up, she said, yes, but sign here first above the dotted line. He started each call. Sir, strange to relate, I'm looking for a runaway roller skate. Each man he rang passed him on to another until someone said, you want Big Brother. Big Brother is the boss in the office upstairs. No one ever sees him and no one cares. Mr. Elwood glimpsed the mouse across the floor, run down a passage and through the door. I wonder if it's going to catch this mouse. He rushed to the room where sat a stern man. In a trembling voice, Mr. Elwood began, Dear sir, please help me. I'm in such a state. A mouse has gone off with my roller skate. I'll assist if I can, but I'm terribly busy. I do nothing all day, but it makes me feel dizzy. Now let me see a mouse on a skate. Sharpen my pencils and I'll put you straight. The pencils were heaped all over the floor. Big ones, little ones, what a chore. He must have sharpened nearly a million, black ones, green ones, purple vermilion. When outside the window a dark a dart glided past, with the mouse and the roller skate tied on fast. Look.
The cock and Mr. Elwood didn't turn a hair. They jumped from the window out into the air. Down and down they sailed, till even Mr. Elwood's stout heart quailed. The cockerel's feather flapped and fluttered, gripping his gant, Mr. Elwood spluttered. It's a landing, dear rooster, that I really dread. Oh, how I wish I'd stayed in bed. Their luck that day was extremely good. They touched down safely in the middle of a wood. They asked an owl who perched in a tree if he knew where the mouse might possibly be. He blinked and hooted, tui tu tu. I would go that way if I were you. You'll come to a castle where I'm told lives a kindly man who is wise and old. Here's the owl in the tree, did you see it? Oh, with their scissors and sword, they snipped and hacked through the forest growth and tangled track. Look how many trees they've tried to, got to get through. They struggled and cut their way through the wood and came to a clearing where a castle stood. Around its walls was a deep, wide moat filled with a many a yawning crocodile throat. Having read the notice, Mr. Elwood decided to clean their teeth with the paste provided. So he diligently scrubbed the crocodile teeth, brushing up and down and beneath. There's a sign here in the toothpaste. I don't know if I'd brush a crocodile's teeth, would you? In the castle, they met a strange old man. Feeling rather shy, Mr. Elwood began, Excuse me, sir, I hope I'm not too late. Have you seen a mouse on a roller skate? The ancient replied with a prompt decision, we can track his course on that television. Please accompany me. It's not very far. We can travel on foot. We don't need a car. See, the mouse had gone to that house on the hill. If you make haste, you should be there still. Mr. Elwood thanked him for being so kind, for mice on roller skates are hard to find. Look, crowed the cockerel. That's our house. Let's hurry up and catch that troublesome mouse. Well, said Mr. Elwood, I think you're right. We'll be able to sleep at home tonight. Look, there's a skate on the bedside mat. The mouse isn't there, only the cat. Never mind the mouse I'd hope to capture. I found my skate with joy and rapture. At last, Mr. Eld went to bed, glad to rest his weary head. But suddenly the poor man woke, crying aloud, Is this a joke? Good heavens, what on earth is that? Tiptoeing across the mat, Oh no, alas, what grief and pain. It's that mean and measly mouse again. Do you think it's going to happen again? I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.